oxygenation and ventilation, not the same thing. How much oxygen is actually getting delivered to the tissues? We're looking at, yes, the O2 sat, also the partial pressure of oxygen in the bloodstream, the PO2. Your hemoglobin affects this because hemoglobin is the primary place where we carry oxygen to deliver it to the tissues. If you don't have enough hemoglobin, you're not gonna bind enough oxygen, nothing's gonna get delivered. Ventilation, how much air is physically moving in and out of the body? We're mostly looking at carbon dioxide. Is the patient obstructing? Are the soft tissues collapsing into the airway? and preventing the air from actually getting in and out of the lungs. Who has had a sleep apnea patient sit there with a rocking chest and it looks like they're breathing and the monitor is counting a respiratory rate, but in the meantime, they're becoming somnolent, their CO2 is rising and they're hypoxemic. If you're tilting your head right now when I'm describing this, you've probably had a patient like this and just didn't recognize it. We're diving deep into all this, including blood gas transport, reading ABGs in the Confident Care Academy membership. Come join us.